Okay. Glad you told me that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. No reason. Okay, look at this. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to spend some time memorizing that little pattern. Okay, you've memorized all those patterns everywhere, all over the fretboard and stuff, but but if you memorize that pattern, you can put it anywhere. Okay, like you can go, here's here's A, let's play it in the key of A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's play it in the key of B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's play it in the key of C. Okay, we can go up and down the fretboard. Okay, now this the root note right here is also called the one. Okay, so where's the two for G? If we're in the key of G, okay, where did, where did I just say the two would be? Right there, okay? Do, re, mi, fa. You could sing it just like Sound of Music, right? Okay, so here is your two. Okay, so when somebody says, what's the two of G? Can you tell me what the two of G is? What note is that that you're playing? Very nice. So the two of G is A. Now look, let's, let's find the three. Where's the three? One, two, three. Here's the three. Now, what note is that? What's the three of G? Think about it. You got A, A sharp, B. Very nice. Where's the four in that little pattern that I showed you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what note is that? Very nice. So, the four of G is C, okay? Now, look at this. Now, is that the right note? Not quite. So, let's, let's start with the one. Very nice. So, that five is up here. One, two, three, four, five. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, so if you mess it up, it'll sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so. There you go, okay? So what's the, what is the five of G? What note is that? C, C sharp, D, very nice, okay. This is the hardest part. It's over here on this string, okay? Once we get further away. Okay, so I want you to find the six, seven, and eight. You can find that if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, it's not that seven, seven, eight. What is a major chord made up of? It's made up of different combinations of these notes. A major chord is made up of the one, the what, and the what? Three. Uh-huh, the three and the five. Can you find the one, the three, and the five of G for me? One, three, five. Uh-huh, one is right here find the three for me. Uh-huh. Good. And then find the five for me. Nice. Okay. So if somebody said, okay, Elsie, what are the notes inside of a G chord? You would say, uh, okay, there's a G. There's a, what note is that? You good. And then what's, what note is all the way up here after C sharp? Mm -hmm. Those are the notes. Look, I'll show you that. You're like, but Matt, we're playing more notes than that when I play a G, aren't we? Have you noticed that? When I strum a G, how many notes are we playing? We're strumming all six strings. That's six different notes, right? Are they six different notes? Watch this. They're not. According to what you just told me, all that should be in this chord are a G, a B, and a D. Right? So guess what? Do you think, what do you think we're doing? Are we strum, we're strumming a G? This is a B. What is this string? Mm -hmm. What is this string open? You know it. Open, what's this open string? E, A, D. And then we have, uh-huh. And then look, so we, we, got two, we got two fingers here. You're like, I don't know what we're pressing down on those. It's a little bit hard. Let me tell you, that's a D note and that's another G note. So we have three G's inside of this. 
and we have two Ds, and we have one V. That's what a G chord is. Isn't that cool? So that's why you're strumming all those notes. Now, how do I make that minor? How do I make it a minor chord? It, a minor chord has, does it have a one in it also? Yeah, we gotta have that. We have to have a one. We have to have, does it have a five in it also? I'll just help you out. Yes, it does. It has the five. The trick is that that third, it's a third. The third, just remember, number three, the third is always the one that changes the chord and makes it sound really different. Okay? Show me the flatted third of G. Can you show me that? Like you go one, two. Where's the flatted third of G? That's G, or that's that's the, that's the third of G. Where's the flatted third of G? That means you take it down. No, that's sharp. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, now it's it. Now you can hear it. So you got a one, flatted third, five, one, flatted third, five, one, flatted third, five. You can tell that sounds minor, doesn't it? Okay, so you've got a G. You've got a B flat and you've got a D, okay? So if you wanted to play a, an open G minor, you could play it like this. It's weird. Okay. It's a lot. I'd play that, yeah, play that major scale in the key of A. You should automatically go, where's the A on the E string? Oh, it's right here. Right? Right? You know that. So show me the two of A. Look at this, watch this. If we're playing this in the key of A, our whole scale has moved up. Look, we're playing our pattern here. One on the A. Nope. Go to A. There you go. Nope, that's G. There's A. One. Go to the two of A. Two. Go to the three of A. Three. Go to the four. Six of A. Go to the seven of A. Sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now play it in the key of B. What does a sus two mean? Well, we're in the key of A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me let me tell you something. What do you think that two means when it says two in a chord or a four or a seven? What, what does that number refer to? The two? Yeah, yeah, the two of the chord. Okay, so find me the two of A, would you? One, two, good. What is that note? Mm-hmm, good, very nice. Okay, B, so an A sus two probably has a B in it, right? Let me show you a trick, okay? Let me ask you this. What does sus mean? Suspension. Suspended. Yes. So what are you suspending? S to suspend something means to take something out of the cord. What are you suspending, I guess? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. How did you know that? Okay, so you remember that. So it has a suspended third. What does that mean? So, what notes are in an A sus2 then? We have an A, obviously the one is gonna be in there. We have a B, it's gonna be in there. And then, oh, no, you were right the first time. One, uh-huh. The fifth, right? You have the one, the two, and the five. Good. Good. Okay, so that's an A sus2. You have no third in it. So guess what? Is an A sus, is that a major chord or a minor chord? It's a trick question. It can't be either, there's no... That's right, there's no three. So it's neither, that's right. So 
do you remember how to play like an open A sus two? Remember that? Good. Because look at that. Look at that note that you're strumming. What's this note that we're strumming? What's that string that we're strumming? Yeah, we have E, then backwards we go. Good by any. What? No. Good by. Uh huh. So we have a B in there. That's the A sus2. It has the. If this was an A major, we'd have the third. The third is right there. If it was a minor, it would have the flatted third. And down here is the two. The B, the B note. You get that kind of? That makes sense? Okay, very good. A sus, that just says A sus. Yeah has the four in it. Okay, so what's the four of A? Uh-huh. What note is that? You've told me that one before. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, very good, good. Play then an A sus or A sus four. Can you play that? An open A sus or A sus four? No, don't. Okay, check it out. Remember this A? We can play an A like this. Where's the third? It's right there. There's the flatted third. There's the two. Two, flatted three, three. Guess what this is? Four. There's your D note, A, A sus4 or A sus. Remember A sus, or like sus chords sound like, like it needs to resolve. Isn't that cool? Okay. Okay, so this is like an A, let's, let's do that, let's find the seven of A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and you're like, well, how do we put that into a chord and everything? Uh, in this case, this is, this is going to be a G sharp. And look at this. If you make an A7, an A7 is going to be fretted like this, okay? And you're going to take that finger, instead of putting it right here, you're going to bring it up here. There you go. And strum. And you mute the A string, and you're, what you're doing. See, it sounds real open and airy and kind of jazzy. That's a, look at that, there's a G7, there's an F sharp seven, there's an F7, you know, it just keeps on. Really easy, okay? Now, uh, minor seven, they have, they're, they're doing it with this flatted seven. So, so that's what's weird, okay? Because we're not going over regular seventh chords. But uh, just trust me on this one. When you say a minor seventh, guess what that's gonna have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we wanna make it flat, so we gotta go down a half step. There we go. And one, two, three, we gotta make this flat down here. The third has gotta be flat. We gotta have this flat seven. So it's, it's all these crazy intervals. Well, let me just show you how to make a minor seven chord, okay? Uh, it's really easy. It's like this. You go, you make like an A chord, raise up your middle finger, right? Because we gotta make it minor. Now, guess what? You raise up your pinky to give it a flatted seven. Now you gotta make sure you're barring all of that. You know what though? That's that same chord that we were doing before that's this one. Remember like when y'all do this, these. That's how you make your 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 um, minor sevens, okay? Okay, so then you know a little bit about those entries.